Pope Honorius IV, c. 1210-3 April 1287, born Giacomo Savelli, was pope from 2 April 1285 to his death in 1287. During his pontificate he largely continued to pursue the pro-French political policy of his predecessor, Pope Martin IV. Early career Giacomo Savelli was born in Rome into the rich and influential family of the Savelli. His father was Luca Savelli, who died as senator of Rome in 1266. His mother Joanna belonged to the Aldobrandeschi family. He studied at the University of Paris, and held a prebend and a canonry at the Cathedral of chalons sur marne Later he obtained the benefice of rector at the Church of Burton in the Diocese of Norwich in England, a nation he never visited. In 1261 he was created Cardinal Deacon of Santa Maria in Cosmedon by Pope Urban IV, who also appointed him Papal Prefect in Tuscany and Captain of the Papal Army. Cardinal Savelli pursued a diplomatic career. Pope Clement IV sent him and three other cardinals to invest Charles of Anjou as King of Sicily at Rome on 28 July 1265. After the long deadlocked vacancy in the Papal See after the death of Clement IV, when the See of Rome was vacant for three years, he was one of the six cardinals who finally elected Pope Gregory X, by compromise, a technical procedure, on 1 September 1271 in a conclave held at Viterbo because conditions in Rome were too turbulent. In 1274 he accompanied Gregory X to the Council of Lyon, where it was established that only four mendicant orders were to be tolerated, Dominicans, Franciscans, Augustinians and Carmelites. In July 1276, he was one of the three cardinals whom Pope Adrian V sent to Viterbo with instructions to treat with the German king, Rudolf I of Habsburg, concerning his imperial coronation at Rome and his future relations towards Charles of Anjou, whom papal policy supported. The death of Adrian V in the following month rendered the negotiations with Rudolf fruitless. Savelli became protodeacon of the Sacred College in November 1277 and as such, he crowned Popes Nicholas III on 26 December 1277 and Martin IV on 23 March 1281. <laughs> Elected Pope when Martin IV died on 28 March 1285, at Perugia, Cardinal Savelli was unanimously elected Pope on 2 April, on the first ballot, and took the name of Honorius IV. He remained at Perugia throughout April, but, once negotiations were completed, he travelled to Rome and took up residence in the family palace next to Santa Sabina on the Aventine Hill. He was ordained a priest by Cardinal Latino Malabranca Orsini on May 19, and was consecrated a bishop and crowned pope on Trinity Sunday 20 May in St. Peter's Basilica. Honorius IV was already advanced in age and so severely affected with gout or arthritis that he could neither stand nor walk. When saying Mass he was obliged to sit in a specially constructed chair, and at the elevation of the host his hands had to be raised by a mechanical contrivance. Sicilian conflict Sicilian affairs required immediate attention from the new pope. Previously, under Martin IV, the Sicilians had rejected the rule of Charles of Anjou, taking Peter III of Aragon as their king without the consent and approval of the pope. The massacre of 31 March 1282 known as the Sicilian Vespers had precluded any reconciliation. Martin IV put Sicily and Peter III under an interdict, deprived Peter III of the crown of Aragon, and gave it to Charles of Valois, the younger of the sons of King Philip III of France, whom he assisted in his attempts to recover Sicily by force of arms. The Sicilians not only repulsed the attacks of the combined French and Papal forces, but also captured the Angevin heir, Charles of Salerno. On 6 January 1285, Charles of Anjou died, leaving his captive son Charles as his natural successor. Honorius IV, more peaceably inclined than Martin IV, did not renounce the Church's support of the House of Anjou, nor did he set aside the severe ecclesiastical punishments imposed upon Sicily. On the other hand, he did not approve of the tyrannical government the Sicilians had been subject to under Charles of Anjou. This is evident from legislation embodied in his Constitution of 17 September 1285 Constitutio Super Ordination Regna Siciliae, in which he stated that no government can prosper that is not founded on justice and peace. 
He passed 45 ordinances intended chiefly to protect the people of Sicily against their king and his officials. The death of Peter III on the 11th of November 1285 changed the Sicilian situation in that his kingdoms were divided between his two oldest sons, Alfonso III of Aragon, who received the crown of Aragon, and James II of Aragon, who succeeded as king of Sicily. Honorius IV acknowledged neither the one nor the other. On the 11th of April 1286, he solemnly excommunicated King James II of Sicily and the bishops who had taken part in his coronation at Palermo on the 2nd of February. Neither the king nor the bishops concerned themselves about the excommunication. The king even sent a hostile fleet to the Roman coast and destroyed the city of Astora by fire. Charles of Salerno, the Angevin pretender, who was still held captive by the Sicilians, finally grew tired of his long captivity and signed a contract on 27 February 1287 in which he renounced his claims to the Kingdom of Sicily in favour of James II of Aragon and his heirs. Honorius IV, however, declared the contract invalid and forbade all similar agreements for the future. While Honorius IV was inexorable in the stand he had taken towards Sicily, his relations towards Alfonso III of Aragon became less hostile. Through the efforts of King Edward I of England, negotiations for peace were begun by Honorius IV and King Alfonso III. The Pope, however, did not live long enough to complete these negotiations, which finally resulted in a peaceful settlement of the Aragonese as well as the Sicilian question in 1302 under Pope Boniface VIII. Rome Rome and the states of the Church enjoyed a period of tranquility during the pontificate of Honorius IV, the like of which they had not enjoyed for many years. He had the satisfaction of reducing the most powerful and obstinate enemy of papal authority, Count Guido of Montefeltro, who for many years had successfully resisted the papal troops. The authority of the Pope was now recognized throughout the papal territory, which then comprised the Exarchate of Ravenna, the March of Ancona, the Duchy of Spoleto, the County of Bertinoro, the Mathildian lands, and the Pentapolis, i.e., the cities of Rimini, Pissarro, Fano, Senegalia, and Ancona. Honorius IV was the first pope to employ the great family banking houses of central and northern Italy for the collection of papal dues. The Romans were greatly elated at the election of Honorius IV, for he was a citizen of Rome and a brother of Pandolf, a senator of Rome. The continuous disturbances in Rome during the pontificate of Martin IV had not allowed that pope to live in Rome, but now the Romans cordially invited Honorius IV to make Rome his permanent residence. During the first few months of his pontificate he lived in the Vatican, but in the autumn of 1285 he removed to the magnificent palace he had just erected on the Aventine. Empire In his relations with the Holy Roman Empire, where no more danger was to be apprehended since the fall of the Hohenstaufen dynasty, Martin followed the moderate course taken by Gregory X. Rudolf I of Germany sent Bishop Henry of Basel to Rome to request coronation. Honorius IV appointed the envoy Archbishop of Mainz, fixed a date for the coronation, and sent Cardinal John of Tusculum to Germany to assist Rudolf I's cause. But general opposition showed itself to the papal interference. A council at Würzburg, 16 to 18 March 1287, protested energetically, and Rudolf I had to protect the legate from personal violence, so that both his plans and the Pope's failed. Topic: Other acts. Topic. Honorius IV inherited plans for another crusade, but confined himself to collecting the tithes imposed by the Council of Lyon, arranging with the great banking houses of Florence, Siena, and Pistoia to act as his agents. The two largest religious orders received many new privileges from Honorius IV, documented in his Regesta. He often appointed them to special missions and to bishoprics, and gave them exclusive charge of the Inquisition. He also approved the privileges of the Carmelites and the Augustinian hermits and permitted the former to exchange their striped habit for a white one. He was especially devoted to the order founded by William X of Aquitaine and added numerous privileges to those they had already received from Alexander IV and Urban IV. 
Besides turning over to them some deserted Benedictine monasteries, he presented them with the monastery of St. Paul at Albano, which he himself had founded and richly endowed when he was still cardinal. Salambine, the chronicler of Parma, asserted that Honorius IV was a foe to the religious orders. This may reflect the fact that he opposed the Apostolic Brethren, an order embracing evangelical poverty that had been started by Gerard Segarelli at Parma in 1260. On the 11th of March 1286 he issued a bull condemning them as heretics. At the University of Paris he advocated the establishment of chairs for Eastern languages to teach these languages to those who would labor for the conversion of the Muslims and the reunion of the schismatic churches in the East. He raised only one man to be cardinal, his cousin Giovanni Baccamazza, Archbishop of Monreal, on the 22nd of December 1285. The tomb of Pope Honorius IV is in the Church of Santa Maria in Araceli in Rome. Topic. Contacts with the Mongols Topic. The Mongol ruler Argon sent an embassy and a letter to Pope Honorius IV in 1285, a Latin translation of which is preserved in the Vatican. It mentions the links to Christianity of Argon's family, and proposes a combined military conquest of Muslim lands. As the land of the Muslims, that is, Syria and Egypt, is placed between us and you, we will encircle and strangle. A strangamus it. We will send our messengers to ask you to send an army to Egypt, so that us on one side, and you on the other, we can, with good warriors, take it over. Let us know through secure messengers when you would like this to happen. We will chase the Saracens, with the help of the Lord, the Pope, and the Great Khan. Honorius IV was hardly capable of acting on this invasion and could not muster the military support necessary to achieve this plan. Topic. See also Topic. Cardinals created by Honorius IV Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. F. Gregorovius, History of Rome in the Middle Ages, Volume 5.2, Second Edition, Revised, London, George Bell, 1906, 491 to 515. Grousset, René, 1935. Histoire des Crusades III, 1188 to 1291 in French. Editions Perrin. ISBN 2-262-02569-X. Venditelli, Marco. Honorio IV. Encyclopedia dei Papi, Roma 2000, I, pp. 449-455. Topic. External links. Topic. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Jackson, Samuel Macaulay, ed. 1914. Article name needed. New Schaff Herzog Encyclopedia of Religious Knowledge, 3rd ed. London and New York, Funk and Wagnalls. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Article name needed. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. The Cardinals of the Holy Roman Church Salvador Miranda